Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So let's work in our first art journal that we did, that I did. Um, and this can be done in any kind of art journal. It can be done on a piece of cardstock that if you don't have an art journal, a piece of printer paper, whatever you have, composition paper, notebook paper, it doesn't matter. So we made this, uh, the video is two videos before this, I think two or three. I'll try to remember to link you down below or up in the video somewhere. Y'all know I'm horrible with that. I'm sorry. I always have great intentions and never do it. I hope I will remember this time. Kelly, please remember. Okay. So this was the front and I'm not going to work on the front today. I'm going to work on this page. Let's, well, let's do this page. Let's do this page first. Now, remember, when you're doing your art journal, this is just a magazine. Like I said, the video will show you. I'm going to finish putting it all together. But this is what I just sewed yesterday with just regular acrylic paint that I had left over. Now, you could do a big art journal spread in here. And I'm going to do one of those coming up. But right now, I just, just want to do a page. So, I want to do, I don't know, it's kind of, it's summer here. It's almost, you know, almost, almost, almost summer the correct date of summer, but it's hot, it's humid, it's summer, let's face it. Um, so I picked some greens and what I want to do is do a background right now with my greens. So all you have to do is I picked out all kinds of different colors that kind of obviously go together because they're green. And this is what I'm going to use. I have a yellow, I have a white somewhere. What I do with the white, here's the white and I have a white. And that's what I'm going to work on right now with the background and building up, you know, for my art journal page. Now, something that I love to do, and I do it a lot with art journaling because I think it's easy, especially for new people who are just starting art journaling, or if you want to uh, do an art journal page, you want to be creative, but you don't have that much time or you don't have that much patience that day, but you want to do something art related to help meditate or do, you know, whatever for yourself to be creative really, um, gets me out of my head. Uh, this is going to be something a little bit simplistic as a, as an art page. Um, so I'm going to start with my greens and I'm going to do metallic in the background. Now, you know, you can buy, Oh, what is it called? Iridescent medium. Um, and I'm going to, I have things in my, um, on my list that I want to pick up as giveaways. Cause I think these things can really help a lot of you. Um, just, I don't know, just to have something a little bit different. And I want to do a, um, iridescent medium giveaway and that'll, that'll be coming up, you know, soon enough. I have another giveaway coming up. I have them kind of scheduled right now, but, uh, that will be something I want to get some mediums out to people. I know a lot of you don't have mediums, and there's so many fantastic mediums out there. So, and also I have a video and I also have a blog post. And if you want me to do a new video because you're new to my channel and don't want to, um, necessarily look through all my videos on how you can make your own iridescent medium. So let me know down below. Do you want a video on that? I would love to. Now I painted that I have, you can see it's a little shiny over here because my light, I don't know if I have enough light in here right now. No, not for me to see. So I'm just going to take a paper towel. Uh, you could use your, like if you have a towel that you use a regular towel, which I do sit in there, but I grab my paper towel. And remember when you're using your paper towels, you know, do all the different about, you know, colors and everything on there and save them, let them dry. And then you can use them as background in your mixed media as well. But this is going to get up a lot of the excess and that's going to add a little bit of texture and you know, all that good stuff. Uh, what, something else you can do, um, just like your jelly plate, uh, and it doesn't matter whether you have a jelly plate or not, this isn't going to do anything fancy, fancy, but you could just take a piece of paper and start another mixed media background. This is going to get up a lot of that excess paint and you're going to get you know, a little bit of texture and we'll continue to do that. Now, if your paint is starting to dry, as you can see here, um, it will lift it up. So you want to dab off and you want to do that before it kind of starts getting that tackiness to it. Acrylic paint dries very quickly. Um, sometimes not fast enough for me, but it does. Um, and then you can see right there it ripped up. Do I care? No, it's a mixed media page. It's not going to matter to me. So now I want to add some, some dimension going in. Um, 
I'm going to use, let me see, let me see, let me see. What did I do with it? Oh, I know you're here somewhere, friend. Oh, just not going to come out and let me see it today. Let me use. Don't want to do that. So much fun, isn't it? When I thought I had everything. I thought, you see, I was prepared. I had my greens all sitting here, my white. What happened? All right, so now I'm going to take a piece of cardboard. This is just a piece off of the uh, cardboard uh, that I used in the other art journal. And what we're going to do is let's take some dark. And I'm just going to put that down there. And use as dark as you want. Use whatever color you want. You don't want to use, you want to do different colors. You know what would be cool is if you did rainbow colors. And, uh, oh, God, I, I love bright colors. But anyway, I'm just going to do like this. Like I'm chopping up some garlic and I'm going to go in. Now you're not going to be able to see this right off the bat and we're going to keep coming in, but it's going to add that dimension. I mean, this is how simple we all have this sitting around. You don't have to have all the fancy schmancies. And I'll lift this up so you could see it because I'm sure it's going to be a little hard with that light. But I, I don't know. I'm having a problem seeing today. And you see, I'm just playing. I'm just putting it everywhere. It don't matter. And you could see it's darker. Okay. I'm going to wipe that off right there because I'm going to get some white. I'm going with some white. So I'm going to wipe that off. Get it all over me, of course. But look. Can you see all that? There you go, if I turn it this way. Look how cool that's looking so far. The metallic really is nice in the back. Now I'm gonna wipe this green up. Now, here's what you should do. This is what I tell you guys all the time. Take your paper, I was gonna wipe it up, but I'm not, I'm gonna do this first. Lay your paper down on it. Soak it up a couple times on different parts of that paper so it doesn't go to waste. Because you could just keep layering and layering. And you got these little blobs, but those blobs are good, good blobs, but I'm not having the patience right now. But I'm just gonna take it off. You see, I got the majority of that. Okay, so now let's take some white, because I wanna lighten this up a bit. And I have white, oh God, please don't fail me now, white. All right, I just need that little bit of white. And this is yellow. Now you can go back and dab your, uh, this part dry before we put these on. Because I'm doing the video, I'm not gonna take that extra second and I forgot to have my husband plug in my heat gun because I have the cats uh, have the cats in here at night. But I'm just gonna go in with the white, same thing. And look at that. Come on now. You wanna be fancy, put it down and do a little swirl. It doesn't matter. You're just adding some texture and depth. Each is a new layer. All right, so now, with the yellow, and I'm just going until the paint comes off. It doesn't matter what I get, because we can always go darken it down. But do you see how that lightens it up and gives it a little bit of something, something? Now I'm gonna take my glue stick cap, and I'm gonna put it in this yellow, and I'm mixing it a little bit with the white, I don't care. And I'm just going on, man. You can get your glue sticks at the dollar store. You can get them at the craft store. You can use a coupon with them. Sometimes you can get three packs. And I'm just dabbing them around. Now, you know what else I could have picked was uh, gold. That would have looked nice. I'm going a little bit overboard with the uh, circles, but I don't care because I'm going to have things on there. I'm just going to mix this together now. And just do some edges. And you can overlap them, make them fancy with some. Okay. All right, and then wipe that off. So when you put it, wipe this off too. Look, I made myself a handle on my paper towel. I'm so fancy. All right, and then I'm just gonna put this back on my glue stick for later and I'm good to go. Just make sure you wipe it off. And now we have a piece of paper. It's in our art journal, but if you don't have an art journal, you just have a piece of paper, 
You're using a piece of cardboard from <clears throat> anything, a package, a cereal box, a cracker box, a pasta box, it doesn't matter, and a lid. You can use a toothpaste lid. You can use whatever you want. Okay. And now we have that. So now I want to, what do I want to do? I want to put, let's keep with the theme of circles. Let's do this. Let's take this piece of paper. If you don't have this piece of paper, any piece of paper will do, even if it's a white piece of printer paper or something that you want to do this with. Let's do something like, set this out of the way for a second. I'm going to give that a second to dry a little bit more, but I'm going to put this down. I'm going to dab. All right, that's pretty much dry. I'm going to take my Mod Podge. If you don't have Mod Podge, just find something circular. It could be your uh, cooking spray or, you know, whatever. You just want to trace. And if you don't want to trace, don't trace. You don't have to. All right. But you do have to find something to draw with. All right, let's see if this will work for me. I'm just going to go around. And I'm not good at just cutting out a circle. Maybe some of you are. And my circles might not even look like great circles. But this is what I'm going to do. And I know that the page is about as big as this. So I don't need too many. Now, if you want to do different size circles, that would be fancy too. What do I have? What do I have? Let's do a little bottle. Yep. See, you don't need to be perfect. We're just drawing. I'm going to do a medium bottle too. God, I'm the worst ever. Circle draw. Who? Who's worse than me drawing circles with a template? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, well, maybe we'll use this. So we get a couple. I'll just do a couple. Maybe I'll do one like off the page. Try that too. And then like this. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to cut these out. And lucky for you, you get to watch me. Aren't you feeling lucky? Now, you don't need all of them. You probably only need one of each, but I'm just going to very quickly. You don't have to be spot on. But this is simple enough, even if you don't have anything to trace, that you could just cut out circles. They don't have to be. They don't have to be perfect. I have a thing where I like to cut right around like that, where it's fancy, fancy. Ah faster and then go back and trim it up. You'll see in a second. Oh my God, my nose itches. Does anybody else's nose itch when they're in the middle of doing something that they don't want to stop? And sniffing up isn't going to help. All right. All right, so I have those. I might want another big one. I'll just cut this real quick just in case. And don't throw this paper away because you have some great paint on it. But and save it. You might need more circles. All right, let's just do that. Let's move this out of the way, out of the way today. Okay, so here's my page. Now, I'm um, obviously I put my scissors back because I wasn't thinking. So I want to cut this off a little bit more just to make it a little bit more. Put that there. I'm gonna trim this off. And I think I'm going to do that there. Trim this up. Now this is going to be different. You know, the green isn't in it. Yeah, the green in it is one layer, but it's not. It's not a big deal. Now we got this little baby boy that I have to just trim a little bit better. Do ovals. Do do. Look, that doesn't even look like a circle. What the heck is that? I don't know. But guess what? We're going with it. Now let's take our glue stick. If you have a glue stick, Elmer's school glue, white school glue, gel medium, collage podge, mod podge, whatever you got. And let's throw some glue on this bad boy. Oh, this is almost empty. I gotta get me more. And let's stick it down. I go through glue. Oh my gosh, look what happened. <laughs> I'm like, boy, that got heavy. That's about done. Maybe I can just get the rest out of it. 
for this. Make sure you get those edges. See, now I can cover up that little boop boop that I did. A little bit more. Okay. Now, if you want more, do more. You don't want more, don't do more. But remember, when you're done with this and it does empty all the way, you have this for circles, which for people like me who have bad hands, look how fun to dab. You got a nice little thick thing that you can... That's what she said. Get it? You got nice. Okay. You got this thick thing to do your little dots, uh, you know, your little circles or whatever you want to do for any other project. And you have this. You keep it. I'm a junk queen. All right. So I'm just going to push down. Oh, I didn't glue that one down. Look, I'm all excited for my thick thing here and I didn't do it. All right. So come on, you. I'm going to stick it down. All right. So now that's it. So we're going to give that a second. And I'm going to end up tracing them at some point. And I might put something else here. But right now I'm going to concentrate on them. So what I think I'm going to do is take some more of my white. Put these away. Because I will end up stabbing myself somehow. Oh, my gosh. I can't even put this back all right, just a little bit. And I'm going to take my brush. Dry it off the best I can. And I'm going to do this. And I'm just going to kind of go over. I want some of that green to still come through. So you want it to be light enough. And if you cover up the green, it doesn't matter. We can add more. Just adding a little something. Now think about other things you can use. Book pages. You can use uh, scrapbook paper. You can use anything, any paper that you've made, I mean, to do these circles. Like I said, you could use printer paper. I mean, it's, you know, really. Now my favorite green. You all know I love me my Martha Stewart green. It's called Granny Smith. I'm going to do a little squeeze. Oh, that was a big squeeze. I don't know. All right, so I'm just going to dip a little bit and do my little squirting. Now I'm going to just drag this through very lightly. I'm barely holding the paintbrush. And I'm going to try to miss my circles. That's just how I'm doing it. Okay, just you want to go over your circles? It's yours. Go over them. All right, and then I'm going to take a little bit and I'm just going to plop them. Just going to add some more color. No rhyme or reason. No rhyme or reason. Oh, I hate to waste that green. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not going to put it on anything yet because I might use that green again. Okay, now I want to let that dry. We're just going to go like this. I want some black. I know that that's probably, oh, I'll wait till I'm last. I'll wait till last for black. Maybe I'll do black around it. Yeah. That's what I'll do. What about some of this lime? That kind of looks the same color though. It's a little brighter. I'm just gonna use a little bit. I'm gonna use my finger. Yeah, that's a different color. And I'm gonna kind of blend around. And it's a lot easier if you draw it in between. So it doesn't kind of blend. I mean, it doesn't matter. You see I'm doing it. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just you you want the layers of the colors to show through, but maybe you don't. I don't know. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. But I want these to be all the way colored, basically, with everything kind of popping out. Sorry, I forgot to turn my Facebook off. Okay. And we can go in and add more of the other green too. It's not going to hurt anything. But you see how we're just getting all them? Now we want a little bit uh, darker. So I'm going to do a little bit more of this. You know what? I'm going to do this green. And this green is called Chromium Oxide Green by Liquitex. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Just 
just want that green kind of smeared through for now. Nothing, nothing too major. Okay. And then once you get that outside, just kind of run it in because that dries very quickly with the other paints because it's so thin as I'm putting it on so thin rather. Just adds a little bit of dimension. A little bit of grunge because I love it grungy. Yeah, yeah. Now remember, these are going to pop out. We're going to do black or something around. I'm going to take a little bit more of the um, Martha Stewart green. And I'm just going to kind of run my finger in. And I'm not going to blend it. I'm just going to kind of run it around. Just to lighten it up a bit. I know, redundant, putting light, dark, but that's how you get your layers and that's how you get it to look good. Or at least that's how I think. <clears throat> Maybe you don't want to do that. Don't do it. I'm using my fingers now just because I think you get much more of a, uh, I don't know, it's just much more, it's like digging in the garden to me. It's You, you want to, I want to feel it. <laughs> You know, I want that experience. That's what helps me meditate in a sense while I'm doing this and to uh, calm down somewhat. And you see how simple beginner to uh, newbie, 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 newbie. You know, people that are new to this. My dog's choking in the background. That's wonderful. Um, people who are new to this can do this. And even people who uh, are not new to it, but just want a little simplistic thing to do. Now, I'm smearing that out there because that came... A little bit over, but I don't care because I'm going to make that work for me. Put a little bit on these edges. And I like some of the white coming through, so that doesn't bother me. You know, it's up to what you like. Let me just go around the edges here. Yeah, a little bit more up here. Oh my goodness. My dog. But you see how simple it was to do the background. Okay, so you see where we're at. Very nice. You want to add more dark to it? Go ahead. You want to take your paper towel and add some texture in it? It's going to lift up some of that background? Go ahead, because it's drying. Give it a twist. I like the twist. And that's where we're going to stop with that. Now I'm going to take some black. Now I'm really sad about that green and I don't think I can smush it back in the bottle. I know, cheap, yes I am. Squirt, squirt. Try to at least get what I can back in there. Am I the only weirdo that does this? When colors I love, because I swear, every time I go back for more colors, like if I run out of this and go back, it's gonna be discontinued. I swear, that happens to me all the time. Now I'm making, but I'm making patterns so we can put this on our throwaway paper. I know, sometimes I get OCD over stuff. Sorry, not sorry. All right, so let's put our paper down on there and let's see what we could pick up so it doesn't go to waste. You see how we use that for our circles? And look at that, we have our own little jelly plate print right there. A little bit more. And you could squirt it with water too to make it a little bit, let me show you, just real quick. If anybody wants you want, them to, you want it to be a little bit wetter. And then we'll just stick it down. And you see it all comes up. So that's good. And then you waste less. You're at least using it for something. But I'm going to wipe that off right now. Okay. Alrighty then. All right, so here we are. Now, what I'm gonna do, I wanna pick, 
I want to do black. Let's see. Let me grab some black here. This is just wrought iron from Folk Art. I had it sitting here and I left it out because I knew I'd use it. But I'm going to take the lid off. And I want to get a smaller brush. If you have a Q-tip, this will work. If you have a big brush, this will work. So use whatever you have. I'm just going to grab this little brush and I'm going to dip it in the black. And I'm going to kind of roll it around so I get a point on my paintbrush because I want it to be a little bit more precise. Now you can use markers and I'll do that on another one. Okay, let me just zoom in for a second. This isn't that big of a deal, but let's work on this one. And I'm just going to go around with my paintbrush and I'm going to see if I need to wet the paint. And it looks like I probably do. So I'm going to grab my spray bottle. I'm going to wet it and it's okay. You're not going to hurt anything. You're just making it more fluid, which is what we want to do. And let's go around again. You can see it's much better now. And you want to go around just on that edge, keep wetting, putting paint on there. And then just take your finger and just follow it around a little bit just to blend it out. And look how nice that stands out compared to this one. Do you see how much better? Now let's go around it again. Fill that brush up. Put more paint if you want. Use whatever color paint you want as well. If you want to use a blue or you like, so you want it to be more, um, you know, stay more in the green and yellows and use a blue or uh, a red would look great. Uh, pink, whatever you want. I'm going with black. And I'm going to go around again. Don't be nervous. Don't be afraid that you're going to mess it up because you're not. It's just going to make it pop. Look at that. And then just take your finger. And this is, you know, when you first put it on, of course, it's a little dark. But put your finger, do, do it with your finger. <laughs> God, help me. Uh, and there we go. And that's our first one. Now, we'll highlight this with a little white at another point. But I'm going to use the brush for one more. And then um, I'm going to use a marker and show you guys. So. Let me do this little baby one down here. And we're just going around. And see, you could use whatever you want. Even you could use your finger. Use your finger. You know, if you don't have the small paintbrush and the paintbrush you're using is too big. We're just making it go around. Now, you see that I made that fairly uh, wide around it. Let's say you did it and you don't like it. So, what you'll do is take another paintbrush take this one to wet it. You don't want it to be too wet. And then just go, because it's acrylic and because you added a little bit of water to it, it's going to lift off. And we can go back in with green if we want. I don't really care to. Or if it comes out too dark, we'll see. And you see how you just kind of clean that off? And it magically erases it. And then if you take your paper towel piece of it and wipe around where you just not the, around the circle but just around where you just wiped so then you can go back with a little bit more you know a little more control if you think you need it and just go around it and see how that and then you just make it smaller so it's no big deal okay so I'm gonna put my brush away I'm gonna take my paper I'm gonna put my lid on my paint because I'll end up spilling it you didn't know you're gonna get sung to did you well, boy, are you lucky today. All right. Okay. So we're just doing this. And look, you're getting all this great fanciness. And then we just wipe off whatever. Doesn't work. Okay. Now let's use a marker. Now, I love... I've had quite a few requests for me to give to get a couple of these markers as a giveaway. I have it written on my list. I don't have any here, but um, I love Faber-Castell, so I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. But I'm going to take this down here. Now, this could be your Sharpie paint pen, your uh, Sharpie, uh, whatever color, Sharpie. I don't think Sharpie makes white, though, except the paint pen. But your Sharpie marker, it's an alcohol marker. It doesn't matter. It works great. 
you can use a white out pen and I'll show you, but this is the, you know, or you can use white paints, but we're just going to look, we're just going to go like this and then take your finger. Now you can wet your finger a little bit. It'll work a little bit better, but I don't, I'm just going to blend this because it dries permanent. So think about your ink tense pencils. Think about all that. Now what I want to do, well, I'll do it when I'm last. Wipe off, make sure you wipe off the tips though, because no matter what marker you use when you're using an acrylic paint, because acrylic paint will dry on it and then it will ruin it. And if I showed you all the ruined markers I have that I don't have the heart to throw away, but I have to because they don't work, ugh, then you'll see. Now you want to use gelatos on here? Go ahead. Uh, they're water soluble. Uh, you can use... Um, what, what is it? Crayola, uh, watercolor, watercolor, whatever you want. Just know that as you get to this stage, you can't put anything on top of this if you're using a water soluble thing because it's going to react, reactivate rather. All right. So let me find my marker. Let me show you what other markers. Let me see. All right. Now this is not going to show up, but it's a, it's a green Sharpie and this would be good just to add a little bit of color in here, right? And you just go ahead and do it. And then you just smudge with your fingers and see how that works. You just get a little bit more color and you're smudging. Look at that. It's fantastic. Cause these are essentially alcohol markers, alcoholic markers, as I like to call them. Okay. And I'm just adding some in there. You want to make sure that you wipe your tip off. <laughs> it's always good etiquette to wipe that tip off. Okay. Cause you don't want to dry out. And then I'm going to grab, what do we got here? Here's my white Sharpie paint pen. And I got to still do those, but I'm getting there, but I want to put some highlights in here. So I'm just going to kind of do like that. Very simple. And you can just I like this to get it out and then I wipe all that up and then I just like to do little highlights just little dashes nothing fancy just gives it a little bit of highlight oh we know we're all fancy aren't we and you just do it and if it's too bright pounce on it pounce on it what what pants on it uh-huh and it'll just take some of that up that one made it a little bit uh I got my camera. Durr. I got my camera. This one I made a little bit. It come out when I pounced it a little bit, but I'm going to leave it like that. Wiggle it just a little bit. Damn, that's a lot. All right. So now again, take your, take your paper, push down, lift up. It's going to take some of that white off as you can see. And then I'm just going to look, shit happens. What are you going to do? And look, it's giving little drippies. If you go like this, I don't know, let's do it. But I got it on my computer a little bit, so I'm going to have to wipe it off because Maz is going to kill me. All right. Well, he doesn't even come in here, but if he saw the rest of my computer. But look how great the page is looking so far. And we didn't use anything fancy. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. So you see where we're at. Now let's finish those two. What I'm going to grab is... Where is it? What do I do with my good pen? We all love good pens, don't we? We do so much that we can't find them. My good pen, come see me. My good pen, can't you see I love you? I think I love you. I oh, can't find, okay, here's one. This is just a regular pen. If you don't have any of the, uh, you know, marker, Sharpie. Oh my goodness, Kelly. Good God, girl. Just take your pen and very lightly, and I'm just showing you different ways. You just want it to be outlined. So you just keep going around, push harder each time. And you want to do something like this. You want it to be dense. And what I mean by dense is you want it to be, you know, dark within a close proximity. And this is for people who don't have any markers. Look at that. 
go use a pen. It's just a regular pen. It could be a Bic. It could be a Pentel RSVP Fine, which I love. And I've got paint all over because I love it. But look at that, how nice. Now, I think I'm going to go over this one right here. I'm just going to go back and forth. Back and forth. Back and forth. Everybody go back and forth. Clap your hands back and forth. Do a dance. All right. Look at that. Sweet, sweet. I'm going to do it right here, too. Now, y'all know, I want to, like I said, you don't have to have anything fancy. I'm not even going to sing fancy again. All right. And look. Round and round. What goes around comes around. And look, and keep it, it's like a spire graph. You know what I'm saying? We're just going around. You're having a little bit of control. And we're making it more dense over on this side because we're keeping it very close. But when we get over here, we're just sprawling out a little bit, going close, sprawling out. And I'm holding it up high. You see how high? Because I want it to be like that. Okay. Look at it. Look at how cute. It's a great journal page for you today. All right. I'm done singing. Really, I think way too highly of myself sometimes, like I could sing. All right, so I wanted to do the start to finish because um, I got three emails this morning. And then I read on my uh, video today on the comments when I was talking about the angel, um, about doing the mixed media angel on wood. And I said it would take a while. It gets waxed and all that kind of thing. And then quite a few of you want to see it start to finish. So I thought today I would do a start to finish art journal page grunge, uh, which I love. Uh, and I wanted to make it um, very easy for you to do at home. So this is this is right in our magazine that we did yesterday. Great grunge page. Um, I really dig it. I really love it. it. Took me 35 minutes to do. If you're still watching this, I appreciate it so very much. Um, and I hope that if you guys do this along with me, um, that you guys, of course, tag me, email me, show me, uh, what you guys did. I'm going to bring this up a little closer. I'm going to turn it sideways so you guys can see it better. Maybe not. Let me just do like this. Look how cool. I love doing art journal pages. So simple, but so beautiful. Um, now if you want to continue on for, I'll finish my thought in a minute, but if you want to continue on from here, make this your mixed media background and put something on top of it. If you want, I love abstract and this is actually inspired. <laughs> She's going to probably kill me. She's probably like, don't say my name. This is inspired to me by Gina, uh, Aaron's because, um, she did this great watercolor, uh, abstract type thing. And, um, she put it in a group today and I, I'm, I just am begging her from the bottom of my heart to uh, do a video with it because I want to do the video along with her. And once she puts it up, um, I will let you guys know. And maybe you guys can go check it out and do it along, as long, eh, along with me, baby. Um, but this was inspired by that this morning uh, when I saw it. Um, this is the best I can do <laughs> uh, as far as watercolor, which there's no watercolor in there. But it reminds me, she inspired me this morning. So... Um, shout out to Miss Gina. And like I said, I will let you guys know once she gets that video up, I will mention it. I will also, it's also going to be in my group, uh, all things creative. Uh, she posted a bunch of pictures in there and I told you the watercolor. Um, but I, again, I am so blessed. I am beyond blessed with the art community that we have here on, uh, YouTube and on Facebook. Um, I, I am just so blessed and, and I feel we all are because the, creativity, the inspiration, the love, the support that you guys give me and others and, and each other is just, it's just mind blowing to me. Um, I'm just so, so thankful. And again, I, I am just blessed. So this goes out to Gina because she inspired me this morning and let me know if you guys do this. Let me uh, share that with me. And I'm going to, oh, my other thing I was going to say was the angel mixed media angel picture I did that I waxed, uh, when I was done that I showed you guys. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to put it at the end of this video. I swear I am. I know I was going to put it in the other one. I don't think I did, but, uh, I'm going to do it start to finish. I'm going to do it start to finish. I'm going to do probably two, hopefully two, maybe three, depending, but I'm going to shoot for two videos on it. So it's going to be, they're going to be long videos. Um, 
But I figure, hey, if five people watch it or four people watch it and they like it and they learn something from it, I'm happy. I don't need to have three million views on it. If, like I said, one person digs it and they do it and they learn something, I'm happy. So I'm going to put those up and um, I'm going to do those rather. And uh, I hope that you guys get some inspiration from it. Um, thank you for inspiring me every single day. You guys are just the greatest. I love you guys. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know about what somebody else is fighting. I will be back uh, later or tomorrow um, using our junk journal that we made and doing another art journal page. Uh, but I just love you guys. So have a great, great, great day. And um, let somebody you know, let them know how uh, what they mean to you and how important they are. So bye, guys.